Hey guys, it's Xavier with Friendly Fire Productions, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Nisi Athenas. Uh, the guys at Hammer Turtle Productions were nice enough to send me the full kit, and uh, I gotta be honest, I don't want to send them back. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Nisi currently has five lenses in the kit, 14, 25, 35, 50, and 85, with unspecified plans to release longer focal lengths in the future. The kit currently comes in at 5,800 USD, and what's nice is it actually comes with a case and an extra lens slot with a little compartment for filters. That's very nice. Hey dude, yo, check out the fucking lenses. Yo, what up? What's up? <laughs> what up? Yeah, yo, <laughs> I'm filming you, man. It's great. <clears throat> nice. The lenses are full frame with a 46mm image circle, so you shouldn't have any issues with vignetting on any sensor on the market currently. In fact, the footage you're looking at right now is actually filmed on a Red V Raptor, and even the 14mm had clean corners, so that's really great to see in a budget option. I'm still filming you, man. Sorry? I'm still filming you. Good. That's, that's fun, man. Looks like a nice camera. Yeah, it, well, the, what about the lenses, though? Lens? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's good. The lenses are quite fast with a T1.9 aperture for all lengths, except the 14mm, which is 2.4. Four mount options are currently available, Canon RF, Sony E-mount, L-mount, and of course PL, which are the ones I'm currently reviewing. Cool, man. Nice. I like that you're doing your tests. Very cool. I like that you're still doing it. Fun. Now, what's interesting about these lenses is that, other than the PL mount, they actually feature a slot for circular rear filters. Uh, no such option is currently available for PL, but Nisi did mention plans for a solution in the future. So guys, something to bear in mind, if you are getting the PL mount, uh, the rear element does protrude slightly when you are pulling focus. So if you are thinking about using some sort of uh, PL mount with a ND filter in it, uh, it might not be compatible. So you want to make sure to rent them out uh, before you commit. So quick note, all this footage was shot on a Red V Raptor in 4K ProRes, mainly in the interest of lowering storage, but it does utilize the entire sensor, so you'll still get a sense of the lenses on a full frame Vista sensor. Man, get the fuck out of here. Go, go away. Go away. And I mean, what can I say? These lenses are beautiful. I gotta be honest, I wasn't really expecting much, but they consistently blew me away as I shot with them all weekend. Whoa, what the fuck, bro? They really punch above their weight class, and it makes me wonder if Nisi might be kicking themselves for not pricing these a bit higher. I've heard the image being compared to the RE Ultra Primes, and I really don't think it's that much of a stretch. They're very clean, modern, clinical lenses, but they still provide a decent amount of character. Nisi's mentioned the term micro contrast in its sales pitch, which may just be a hype word, but in a way, I do see what they mean. The image has a very organic, almost 3D pop to it, something that's usually attributed to higher end glass such as the Zeiss Supremes. The lenses are tack sharp full open with only a slight drop off in the corners. And even better, they have little to zero focus breathing which is one of the biggest pet peeves I personally have in otherwise stellar glass. There's also no color shift through the set so that's a big time saver when you're grading your footage in post. You know, it's really impressive how much attention Nisi's paid to making these lenses mechanically and technically perfect. I find in a lot of other budget lenses, such as the Dezos or the Series, they hide behind the crutch of having a vintage look to make excuses for their ocular issues. And sure, you can make the argument that they provide more character, but the thing is, <laughs> you can make a clean image look flawed, but you can't really make a flawed image look clean. For my money, I'd always stick for something like the Nisi Athenas and just apply some effects in my color grade. Now, as much as I've raved about these lenses, there are some drawbacks. I did find some chromatic aberrations, specifically in the 25 and 35. The 14, 50, and 85 are stunning throughout, but I was slightly disappointed that the 25 and 35 couldn't reach those standards. The 35 specifically seems to be less sharp than the other lenses, which is mildly disappointing as it is one of my favorite focal lengths. But that's it. That's the only flaws I could find. I think that at this price point, these are currently unbeatable, and it's really making me excited for the future of budget cinema lenses, and hopefully, it sets a precedent for the quality we can come to expect. All right, guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want more videos, I also have a Patreon. And uh, yeah, 
I'll catch you next time. Take care.